Wow. Well, d dig this. The world's largest cruise ship is overbooked. Overbooked for an upcoming spring break cruise. We have a story of a cruise ship out there that has 200 plus passengers with stomach issues. Uh, also, NCL. NCL is canceling a port stop on an upcoming itinerary because of congestion. And even wilder, there is a guest out there accusing Carnival Cruise Line with tampering with the water. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here to talk you through everything going on in cruising. And let's just jump into this cruise news story number one. The world's largest cruise ship, Royal Caribbean Wonder of the Seas, has been overbooked, oversold for its spring break March 12th, 2023 sailings. Guests were recently notified about the overbooking and they were given some options. Well, I guess the the overbooked people were notified and given options. Option number one, you can move your May 12th sailing to the Explorer of the Seas and sail on Explorer instead of Wonder of the Seas. You will get a generous 100% refund plus a $300 onboard credit to use as you like. And you may be saying, well, that's a pretty good deal. Well, certainly the Wonder of the Seas and the Explorer of the Seas are different cruise ships. So some folks hoping to try out the world's largest cruise ship might be disappointed in that option. And if so, there is option number two, where you can sail on the Wonder of the Seas. You just have to do it on a different date. And you only got two choices of the different day. You can do it on the July the 30th sailing, or you can do it on the August the 13th sailing. You know, not a lot of choices there, but you still get to stay on the Wonder of the Seas, or option number three, you can just get yourself a full refund and make other travel plans. We hear about airlines overbooking guests. That wouldn't be a surprise, but it's pretty, you know, infrequent that we hear about cruise ships overbooking guests. But ironically, this is the second time in the last few months that we've heard about the wonder of the seas being overbooked. She was overbooked on her December the 11th sailing. Obviously, somebody at Royals got to get in the computer over there and figure out why these overbooking situations are happening and rectify it because this, uh, well, I'm, I'm sure it's frustrating not only for customers, but I'm sure it's frustrating for the people at Royal Caribbean. And uh, I can almost guarantee somebody is looking into this uh, coming up with a solution. Were you one of those people that were overbooked on the world's largest cruise ship for March the 12th? Uh, if so, I would love to hear about it. Leave a comment below. Now, before we get into cruise news story number two, I need to take a moment to pay some bills and thank the sponsor of today's show, Scentbird. Scentbird, the monthly subscription service. Well, they're on a mission, a mission to empower everyone to express themselves through scent. Now, if you've been in the perfume and cologne game for a while, you know that it can be expensive to try all of the high-end fragrances. Well, Scentbird has you covered. For just $17 a month, you can choose a fragrance to be sent directly to your house in a portable travel size vial that you can take with you everywhere. This is what I'm talking about. This is the Scentbird dispenser. Inside the dispenser is a vial of cologne. Uh, the dispenser works really easy, magnetically connected. Just pop it in, real easy to use. You just unlock the nozzle, you spray it, you're up. Whew, it's, it smells good. It smells good and again, really easy to travel with. Here's a couple of this month's fragrances. Dime number one, Cologne and The Harmonist. Dime number one with fragrances of sandalwood, zesty bergamot, and amber musk. And The Harmonist with bergamot, cedar, green mandarin, mimosa, and sandalwood. I tell you what, I got the dime number one on. I smell like a man. I just want to tell you that. Like I said, $17 a month. You pick out the fragrance, but if you want to try it for less than $17, there's a great offer for the Loca fam. You can get your first month for about $7. Use my code LALITALOCA3 to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. Hmm. You won't regret it. Thanks again, Semberg, for sponsoring today's show. Cruise news story number two takes us down into oil country, deep in the heart of Texas. And it's a story not only about oil, but about gas. Okay, there's a cruise ship out there that the CDC is reporting to have 284 cases of gastrointestinal illness. The CDC investigating 
this notorious prince's cruise ship because of their vessel sanitation program. They found that on the sailing between February the 26th and March the 1st, 2023, that the Ruby Princess, almost 10% of the passengers on board had gastrointestinal illness. 284 cases, 34 were crew members out of the 2,881 people on board that cruise ship. In response to these cases and the investigation, of course, Princess Cruise Line immediately taking action, doing several things, including increased cleaning and disinfection procedures according to the ship's outbreak prevention and response plan. They collected stool specimens from gastrointestinal cases to send to the CDC lab for pathogenic identification, and they distributed notifications and made ship announcements to embarking guests informing them of increased number of illness cases on board the previous voyage. Can we stop for just a second? Whose job is it to identify the, the stool samples? Look, that's got to be the, the crappiest job I've thought about. All the, Okay, gastrointestinal illness, no joke, on a cruise ship. That's why cruise lines work really hard to prevent it. Certainly, uh, by percentage, there are more gastrointestinal cases on land than on cruise ships, uh, but cruise ships certainly get a lot of notoriety when it happens. And, well, this has done happen to a, a cruise ship that is already notorious, the Ruby Princess. Were you on the Ruby Princess? Have you ever had any stomach bug issues at sea? Uh, leave a comment below. Cruise news story number three has us talking a little bit about Norwegian Cruise Line and an upcoming cruise on the Norwegian Joy happening on March the 11th, 2023, just a few days from now. They have had to drop one of their port stops, change the itinerary as it were because of port congestion. Now there is a little bit of an interesting twist to this story. The way it works out is on March the 13th, the Norwegian Joy was supposed to stop in Roatan, Honduras, but they've decided to go to Bimini instead in the Bahamas. But the thing that has people raising an eyebrow is on that very day, March the 13th, there's only one other cruise ship in the port of Roatan, and that is the Carnival Paradise, which is a small fantasy class ship. And look, Roatan's not some small you know, port stop. They, they sometimes have multiple cruise ships there. Even on March the 15th, they're going to have four cruise ships there. So it's got some people scratching their head as to the itinerary change, but the itinerary is going to change nonetheless. What do you think? It sounds a little suspicious, but uh, again, uh, you know, I'm not behind the scenes. I don't 100% know, but it seems like you could get more than one cruise ship into a Roatan. Am I right? All right. I, I got to tell you about this accusation that a guest is making against Carnival Cruise Line. It's a story I'm affectionately calling Kankelgate. But before I get there, before I do that, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you are one of the first people to watch the show. Bonus stars for that. And you won't miss out on any of the episodes. Double bonus stars for that. Thank you in advance. Kankelgate, recently published on Carnival's public-facing social media is a vile accusation, an accusation that was put to Carnival brand ambassador John Heald, and well, it goes like this. Enough about your cold already. I guess John had a cold and he was talking about it. Like the guy can't talk about his cold. Uh, you should talk about what Carnival Lines adds to their water that makes my feet swell whenever I am on a cruise. Just off the celebration, your new ship, and it happened there. Been off the ship for four days, and it's very uncomfortable. Only happens when I'm on a Carnival cruise ship. Poor passenger went on board, drank the water, and now they're all swole up. Swole! Like, I think many of us can relate to this feet swelling on a cruise ship. And who knows what the cause of it is. Maybe drinking salinated water. Maybe that does cause it. Maybe it's just the added walking that we do, the pressure that we put, I don't know. But it's certainly not just regulated to Carnival Cruise Line and the idea that they would be putting something in the water to make people's feet swell up, well, that borders on being ridiculous. What do you think? Do your feet swell up when you cruise? Has it been on any other cruise line other than Carnival? Do you think Carnival is tampering with the water? Um, leave a comment below. Thanks again, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's cruise news show. And did you guys see the, the video about the bad cruise parents? Gotta watch your kids. Check that video out next. This is Tony for Lot Lido Loca. And until the next time, 
We'll see you on the Lido.